Hey, Joey, what are you doing? That's Detective Joey to you. Sorry. And maybe we can start talking. Sure, about what? Oh, don't play innocent with me, Professor Burger. <sighs> Today's math question is missing an answer. And my gut tells me you've got it. Hmm. Well, why don't we all work together to see if we can find Detective Joey's missing answer? Oh, we're going to find it, all right. And when I, Detective Joey, catch the guy who's got it, we're going to take a little walk downtown. Hmm. Sounds kind of scary, but let's try the question first. Ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. So, there are three groups of owls. Now... There are 16 owls in each of the first two groups. Oh. And there are 54 owls in all. Ah. The question for us is to figure out how many owls are there in the third group. That's the mystery. I see. So let's think about it. We have three groups, and there'll be some number of owls in each of the three groups. Ah. And when we add up all those numbers of owls, we're going to get the total, which we see is 54. Okay. Now, we know that there are 16 owl owls in each of the first two groups. That means... Yes, we know that. First, two, first group has 16. The second group has 16. So we know that the three numbers are going to be 16 plus 16 plus mystery. Oh. So there's your mystery, Detective Joey, right there. Mystery. 16, we know. Plus 16, we know. Plus question mark equals 54. And that's what we have to figure out. What's the mystery? So, let's investigate. Okay, so let's draw actually a little model to see if we can figure out what 16 plus 16 is. Oh. Well, if I draw a little rectangle, since 16, in fact, and 16 are the same number, I could cut the rectangle right in half and have this represent 16 and this represents 16. And then if I add those two numbers together, what I see is 32. And that, 32. Exactly. And that means that this mystery becomes this mystery. 32 plus question mark equals 54. And now we can set up a new model, and this model would look like this. You draw way over here. Here we know the whole answer is 54, and we know that a piece of it is 32. And now this becomes the mystery. And the question for us to think about right now is... Well, how would we figure out that mystery? Would we use addition or would we use subtraction? Let me have you think about it, and you think about it too, Detective Joey, and we'll see what we get when we get back. <laughs> so really, what we have to figure out is, what's the number that when I add to 32 makes 54? And one way to think about this is to use subtraction and take 54 and subtract 32. But if you think about it and visualize it, we see the answer, in fact, is 22. So Just as I suspected. 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, we see there are 22 owls in the third group. And the way we got it was to model the addition and see that you could even add three numbers together and we could still find out what that last one is. So there are 22 owls in the third group and that's the mystery. 22 owls in the third group. I got it. Wait a minute. Mm. Then you had the answer all along. Yep, I had the answer all along. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, wait a second. If I had the answer all along, that means that I'm the guy I'm looking for? Whoa. Uh, hey, um, uh, I gotta take myself downtown. Come on, you. I thought so. Mm. That's what you get for doing such great math. Have fun with math, and we'll see you soon.